what normally happened to our, what normally happened to us at an early age? I, I got to go pick up the sun now, but I was getting riding and I'm like, I was going crazy, crazy. What are some of these normal things? And I know, I know what's going on. I saw the first one I saw, so I knew, I knew, I knew. Let me get the big one. I got, he gave my part. Big one, 19, 20, right? Reach out to him. Thank you, man. You said drugs, and what else? Robbery, murders. Robbery, murders. All right. That ain't true. Well, what if, what if that something happened to us at an early age? That's a good question. I don't have that. I don't have that. All right, watch this. Read it. Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 29. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. So what, what do you think that means right there? That means that don't, don't force her to be a whore. It just means what you got is so close. And how old was you when you had your first girlfriend? or six. What do we do with our girlfriends? Uh, you say kiss the love and see the right. Be honest with me, but we have sex with it. Yeah, yeah, that too, yeah. So read it again. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. So if you don't understand these laws of God, that's going to happen to your daughter. Bro. Right. For real. Right. So you said at five or six, you had your first girlfriend. So you not understand that this Bible, you're going to allow your, uh, your daughter at an early age to have abortion. What you think, what you think they going to do on their time by themselves? Bring it up. They're going to do the same thing you're doing at that same, at that same age. Showing you what? You're going to allow this to happen to your daughter. When we allow boyfriend and girlfriend to happen in our communities, how you think little children, like little children end up being pregnant? How you think STDs pop around in our, you know? in our society? Because we don't, we don't stop this from happening. He said, don't prostitute your daughter from being, um, don't prostitute your daughter allowing her to be a whore. You should not be doing those things. You don't even want to uh, do the wrong thing. These are the things we have to understand. So, when we allow ourselves to have our young men to have girlfriends and our young sisters to have boyfriends, we are allowing this to, to plague our community. So, we got to understand, don't let your little daughter have a boyfriend. She should wait to a, a age when she's able to get married. And that's the age of 20. Right. We can touch that on that as well. Nope. Deuteronomy chapter 23 and verse 17. Yep. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. You know, you want to know how our sisters become whores? Because of us. Bring it up. You know? Because of us. You know how this how that? Because what 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 happens when you have a girlfriend, right? After an argument, a big argument breaks up, what you do? You leave. And what do you do after you leave? So after you after you cheat, you uh, you leave to cheat, and what else? Do you stay with that same one forever, or what else? No, I leave you on that dumb road. You leave on your dumb road, so do you, you find another one, right? Go find another one. Read that top part again. There shall be no poor of the daughters of Israel. So when you have these girls. And we, whatever the case may be, we break up and we go to the next girl and the next girl, then the next girl. All we're doing is calling our sisters to be whores. Right. That's, That's what right. we're doing to our sisters. And we are actually destroying our sisters. Because our sisters are supposed to be, our, our sisters are only supposed to be to be one man. That's, That's right. right. One man. But when we do that, we call her eight. I just slept this sister, now I'm going to the next one. Right. And think about this. We don't sit around and discuss sisters all day long. Showing her, hey, do this, do that, do that, and third. That's wrong. That's wrong. But we supposed to be honest marriage. Let me get all you referred to before. These are the things that we should be teaching our children. I know you said you're young at the same time, but this is the thing we should be teaching our children so they understand this. And this, this is not being taught in our communities. 
they think the boyfriend and girlfriend is okay. So we thought that was going on. We thought that was alright, but that's not okay. For reason. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Yep. Yep. Marriage is honorable in all. He said marriage is honorable in all. Read. And the bed under fire. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. He said whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. The whoremonger is that man that loves sleeping from women to women. You know? Making his sister whore. Uh, prostitute not his sister, right? And an adulteress, the old sister jumps from man to man. She might just be, uh, she just the next girlfriend. Matter of fact, she's like, you know what? I can't never find a good man, but she's always picking the wrong dude in the first place. Right. Or she herself, she probably just uh, at, hold herself at the lowest esteem. You know what? She just open her left to the next man. She's like, I'm crazy. Every time a brother speak, uh, speak nice to her, you know what? She open her left for her. Why is that? Because we always just... It's all to the man in the first place. We're just throwing out sisters. So we gotta make sure we get our system order and then they'll get a system order. Alright. Read it again. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Get up. Marriage is honorable and in all, and the bed undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. The whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. And they get number one and three. Yeah, and it's a certain age, that's when we gotta start, that's when we think about marriage, right? That's when we think about marriage. Because girlfriend and boyfriend, that doesn't exist. That does not exist. For reasons. Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 3. Yep. From 20 years old and upward, all that are able to go forth to war in Israel, thou and Aaron shall number them by their army. So what is it telling us? What does that tell us? From 20 years old and upward, all that are able to go forth to war in Israel, thou and, thou and Aaron shall number them by their armies. So it said 20 years old and upward, all of them are able to go up to war. No, no. It's a certain age we get. America, right? It's a certain age that allow you to like uh, a certain age you're allowed to drink. Right. It's a certain age you're considered as a man. Right. It's a certain age you're considered as a man. The Bible is 20. 20 years old. That's the age that you consider as a man. Right. So we say 20 years old and upward. That's when you consider as a man. So that's the age when we as a nation of people that's when our young brothers and sisters, that's when they should be considered as thinking about, okay, marriage. Until then, they should be thinking about none of that. They should be thinking about, you know what? I should be obeying my parents, doing what they're telling me, coming up in the laws of God. That's till then. You mean Toby chapter 1, verse 9. the last one. But you gotta make sure you take heed to it. Because you are the, think about this, you've been out here before. You did, you have been through some experience, you have been with a couple you have been through a, you have been with a couple of sisters as well. So you know for a fact. You don't want some of the sisters that you've been with, you know for a fact you don't want your daughter to be with, like be like those sisters that you've been Bring with. Bring it up, you know? For a fact. So from this day moving forward, what must you do? You said choose the white women? Let me get, uh, some rock. Let me get, uh, come on, let me get at it. Let me get at it. choose the right women. Choose the right women. Choose the right women. So, if this sister is not applying it a long time, how is she, how, you, how would you know she's the right woman? She's not. She's not. If she don't want to talk, I'm not going to talk to the long time. She's unclean. She's unclean. So what about if you're not applying the laws of God as yourself? Bring it up. Let me help you out right here, okay? 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 39. The wife is bound by the law as long as her husband lives. But if her 
her husband be dead. She is at liberty to be married to whom she will. Only in the Lord. So, you gotta understand. You have to do, you have to marry the right, the right woman in the Lord. Meaning what? In the laws of God. That's right. So what? Both of y'all have to be applying these laws to God. Right. So, if you don't have your life right, and she is not a sister and have her life right, you should not do it. Right. First, you got to think about what? Get yourself in order. Right. Let me get on 2nd Andrew 14, 13. You got to first get yourself in order. You can't be like, I got to choose the right woman. Well, what's the right woman? So we can all say that. I got to choose the right woman. You go out there, you know what? I'm going to make sure she's got a job, she's got a head on straight. When you get where you sleep with, you find out she's a thief. Right. But we always figure it out after we sleep with her. It always shows like that. You know what? After you lay down with you figure out who the real person is. Bring it up. But you can't wait like that. You say that's why he said only in the Lord you have to do it the right way. The book of 2nd Esther, chapter 14 and verse 13. Now therefore... Set thine house in order. That house is, that's talking about you. He says, set your house in order. Set yourself in order. You gotta set yourself in order. And you gotta, you gotta go think about this. You got a child. So set yourself in order. Make sure y'all are good. Right. You gotta start to get yourself right and help your daughter at the same time. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.